Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2024 Keystone Springdale model number 310DB. It's a double bedroom, double bathroom, single slide model, weighing around 76, 7,700 pounds, wood frame, aluminum skin. This is what's crack a lacking, baby. And here's my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Brendan? What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world, Springdale. Fantastic floor plan. I really enjoy this. Two bathrooms, double over, double bunk. There in the back, separation. It's what our families are looking for. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate that. Leave a comment even. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook as well. Shorter videos, enjoy. You'd be a great divorce lawyer, Brendan. Separation! <laughs> Run power jack, 20 power paint tanks. Marriage tank. is forever. <laughs> uh, 20 power <laughs> paint tanks, battery in a box location there. Aluminum skin, wood frame, like I mentioned. Good looking front end on this, so, eh? Two pieces of aluminum put together like that. I'm a fan. Pass through storage all the way to the other side. We got solar on the roof of this guy. There's inverter prep with a 30 amp charge controller. A on-demand water heater by Ger Gerard. Freshwater fill, city water connection. Huh. Maybe, maybe it's a hookup as well for the freshwater if you have the thread on the hose. Interesting. Anyways, we'll figure that out. Manual, sorry, power jacks all the way around. Sewer drain down through here. 15 inch tire, steel rims, but chrome don't get you home. Secondary sewer drain here at the back for the rear bathroom. 30 amp detachment style cord, cable satellite inlet full size spare. We're going for that beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there. You're prepped up there for a ladder. You're prepped up there for a backup camera. One piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. The outside kitchen isn't here. We have an outside grill. Uh, sorry, outside grill spot where you can hook one up. But this is all just storage here underneath one of the bunks. We have a, a fridge in here at the front. Three step entrance up and in. Lend a hand grab handle. Our electric awning starts here goes all the way forward, cuts just short of our secondary door. LED lights in that awning, range hood vent, furnace vent, outside speakers. Here's that fridge I was talking about. Opens from the right in, there you go. Secondary door has a grab handle as well. Standard three-step entrance, the other side of our pass-through. We have great travel access on this model. So as we come in the secondary door, slide's still closed, right? We're able to get to the bedroom and we're able to come down the hallway here and get to our washroom without opening the slide. And then we can go in the main door. We can each. Pass you in the right, Brandon. <laughs> we can each go to the bathroom at the same time. That's right. <laughs> on the side so, of the road. <laughs> access here to the bunks and the bathroom and access to the fridge, all with the slide out closed. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that Springdale 310 DB. You're standing in the hallway to the main bathroom and bedroom area looking into the living space to our bunk room. We're gonna try to get to all of it here. Over here on your right, you've got a booth dinette that's gonna go down for your secondary bed. I like this fabric in here. Hey Brenda, we've talked about this before. This black in through here is really, really nice. We got cover space underneath both sides of the dinette. It's not like the push latches, it's the magnets, which are really easy to use. We also have a, uh, a jackknife style sofa in through here. When we turn this into a bed, it makes for a short bed, but the one advantage to it is it does give you storage underneath it. You'll see there's no carpet here in the main slide. Big windows here in the slide as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get to the this stuff here in a second. We come in the main door. We've got this great pantrytainment, all right? You can add a TV here. Uh, you can put DVDs in through here or just all kinds of pantry and stuff like that. We got large drawers here down below as well. And then we have our 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge moving left. There's a microwave, a range hood, a big kitchen window facing your campsite. Got the built in shelf in through here. Again, magnets holding these doors. Gotta love that. Seamless countertop, undermount, stainless steel sink, boom style faucet. Big cupboard here down below for your garbage can slash recycling. And then three drawers here on the right hand side. Glass stove top cover with blue lights on the oven knobs. Uh, oven itself down below. <clears throat> Which bedroom? This one first. Okay. Coming down the main hallway in through here, we've got our main bathroom. Uh, this one has a shower in it. There's a plastic toilet here, shelf, shelf. 
big linen closet here on the uh, on my left, your right. Same thing up here. Across we have our medicine cabinet, a little bit of counter space, smaller sink, covered there with three drawers. Dump truck fits, by the way. Did I say that? <clears throat> I don't remember. I don't remember either. Good height in through here. I'm six feet tall. I can fit quite easily. I like the texture we've got on the ceiling too. Have you seen that, Brennan? Ooh. It's not like just the standard white ceiling. Nice little texture to it there. Still nice and bright, but uh, yeah, I like it. 60 by 74 inch queen. <clears throat> Copper space on either side of the bed. You got the built-in shelf that you can remove and just hang things. You've also got a built-in shelf here. Receptacles on both sides. Laundry chute slash garbage can location if you want to put one in the pass-through. And then right here is a massive closet. There's a ton of storage on this model. For kitchen storage and clothes storage. Put the drawers in through there. And then heading back down through the living space into our secondary bedroom. We got double over double bunks here. Each bunk has a light, top bunk's got a window. There's great space there for storage, for duffel bags and stuff like that. And then here, yeah, this is a lot of storage, eh, Mm-hmm, yeah, this is all closed off. Yeah, yeah, good point, we'll show that here in a second. Three drawers down here on the left, and then is a sliding door here that's gonna shut off the secondary bedroom from the rest of the trailer, which is nice. Those are big bunks too, eh? Nice and wide. Nice and wide. And then here we have our secondary washroom, which we also have travel access to. Plastic toilet, shelf, shelf, covered there. Sink, no medicine cabinet, but the kids shouldn't have medicine to themselves. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a